So you're under a 24-hour curfew and still left twiddling your thumbs. Well, one local resident says if you've got some yard space, consider growing some greens. Getting your hands dirty, according to this Morden farmer, may just do some good. Lloyd Allen has more. It's being dubbed survival gardening. In the midst of the coronavirus, the country remains under a 24-hour curfew. However, some locals are tilling the soil in an attempt to grow their own greens while practicing social distancing. Angliston resident Damian Turner says his home garden started long before COVID-19, with his harvest surfacing just in time. My mom inspired me to, to do the backyard gardening. At first, I was just doing ornamental along the sides of the fence, and I had a lot of grass in the backyard, you know, and I had to cut this grass. And the idea came to me, why not grow foods that we could eat? There are six of us in the home, and um, the foods that I grow supplement our diet. Turner says his variety is small, but includes some essentials for the needed nutrients amid the COVID pandemic. I grow beets, cassava, tomatoes, purslane. I also have papaya. I also do plantain. Turner has even discovered an ingenious method to create his own soil, particularly for his tomatoes. I actually went on YouTube and found a way to make my own calcium phosphate by using eggshells and apple cider vinegar and um, I was able to, to make my own calcium. With many uncertain on the quality of some food products, Turner offers this advice. Especially during this time, is to try to grow as much food as possible. That way you know exactly what you're putting in your body. Try to eat as much whole foods as possible. Um, whatever you like to eat, grow that. Get the seeds, plant them in the ground, especially if you know it's going to rain or if it's raining. That's when you throw your seeds out. Um, and also start with, with, with um, plants that are easy to grow. Your peas, they are easy to grow. Pumpkin seeds, just throw the pumpkins at your back door. If they need watering, at least when you open up your back door, they're right there. Keeping it in the family, Turner's cousin Derricka Clark, too, has her own garden. Although not a medical practitioner, Clark uses some of the greens in the garden as teas, replacing the store-bought brands. You could boil the moringa, you could boil the neem, you could boil the fever grass, you could boil the basil, and you could drink them. So if you are stuck at home, using your green thumb may not kill COVID-19, but it will keep you busy and can help to produce some healthy snacks for the family. For the morning edition, Lloyd Allen, ZNS Network News.